the super contest picks. I give them out every single week. Last week, the contest picks were 4-1 and one against the spread. Uh, I'm going to roll through these because I am, I am just about done with the day. So let me go ahead and roll through. I've got, oh, I was 4-1 and one against the spread last week. I am 6-4 and four thus far overall on the season. I was 2-3 and three to start off uh, in week one. So readjusted the power ratings, and here we go. Uh, Raiders minus 2.5 at the Titans. Titans on a short week coming back from Monday Night Football at Buffalo. Uh, the trends don't really favor the Raiders, but I like how this team looks this year. Uh, my line on this was 4.5. It's sitting at 2.5, so I took the Raiders at minus 2.5. Number two. The New Orleans Saints uh, to cover three. So they are a three-point favorite on the road at the Panthers. This Panthers team does not look good at all. New Orleans, 38-15 and 15 against the spread in their last 53 road games. They seem to play better on the road for whatever reason. Uh, New Orleans, 11-3 and three against the spread uh, on the road against losing teams. Carolina is in trouble here. I like the Saints to win this by about a touchdown. So I will take the Saints to cover three. Uh, 49ers at the Broncos. Yes, I know uh, the Trey Lance injury was difficult. Uh, Jimmy G came in and looked good getting the win and backup relief, of course. Uh, I think going to Denver, a tough task. No, this Denver team has not looked good, but Broncos are a one-point underdog at home. I actually have them favored by about two points. That is a field goal worth of value, and that is what I will take on this. I like the Broncos to win at home over the 49ers, the fact that they are already a dog. I will certainly roll with that. Number four, the Falcons plus one at the Seahawks. I think the Falcons should be favored in this game. So I've actually got them favored by a field goal here, and that's four points of value. I will certainly take that one. So Falcons plus one. And finally, number five here, Rams minus three and a half at the Cardinals. The Cardinals, uh, yes, I understand. Everybody loves how they looked at the end of the game against the Raiders and everything, and Kyler Murray was flying, and yes, I get it. Uh, this Rams team, I believe, is going to go in and kind of push along Cliff Kingsbury, right? I, I think that they handled this game in a way that the Raiders were not able to, and I, I think the Rams will certainly cover three and a half here. Uh, my line on it is actually six and a half. So, field goal worth of value, Um if I've got them by a touchdown uh, and the line is three and a half, like something, something's messed up. So we'll, we'll see how accurate my power ratings are on this. But, uh, but the Cardinals, I mean, it, yes, they came back and won, but that was not an overly impressive game from them. I will say that. Not an overly impressive game. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.